Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve example 6 from chapter 11, Introduction to Trigonometry. In my previous videos, I have completed examples 1 to 5 and exercise 11.1. .1. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Example 6 from chapter 11, Introduction to Trigonometry says, In triangle ABC, right angled at B, AB is equal to 5 centimeters and angle ACB is 30 degrees. So here they have given us a right angle triangle which is right angled at B and the side AB is 5 centimeters and they have given us the angle ACB as 30 degrees. Now we have to determine the lengths of the side BC and AC. So we have to determine these sides BC and AC. So whenever a right angle triangle comes into picture, the first thing that comes into mind is a Pythagoras theorem. To apply Pythagoras theorem, two sides in a triangle should be given so that we can de determine the third side. But here they have given only one side of the triangle and they have given us one angle. So first let us write down what is given in the question. So they have given us in triangle ABC, AB is equal to 5 centimeters and angle ACB is equal to 30 degrees. Now let us first find out the side length of the side BC. Now we will choose the trigonometric ratio according to the side we are going to determine here. The best way to remember all the trigonometric ratio is to remember this fraction that is PBP by HHB. Perpendicular by hypotenuse is given by sine cos is base by hypotenuse and tan is perpendicular by base and the reciprocal of this is cosecant, secant and cot theta. Now in this figure angle C is the acute angle so the side opposite the acute angle will be a perpendicular, side along will be a base, AC will be a hypotenuse right now since we are going to determine the side bc we will take this side bc and the other side which we know that is ab so we will take perpendicular by base so which is the function trigonometric function formed by perpendicular by base it is tan theta so we will apply tan value to this angle c right so tan 30 is equal to perpendicular by base so here what is the perpendicular value it is 5 centimeters and base is BC which we have to find out. So therefore we will get tan 30 is equal to 5 by BC. Now what is tan 30 degree value as I told you in my previous class that we have to remember all the trigonometric ratios of some specific angles like 0 degree, 30 degree, 60 degree, 45 degree and 90 degree. So let us go back to the table and find out the value of tan 30. So here what is the value of tan 30? It is 1 by root 3. So therefore this table is very much important as you have to remember this table to solve the problems which we are doing now. Okay. So tan 30 is 1 by root 3. So we will write down here 1 by root 3 is equal to 5 by BC. So now let us cross multiply. So BC into 1 will be BC is equal to 5 into root 3. So here the BC value we got that is nothing but 5 root 3. Now we have to find out the AC value. Now since we know two sides of the triangle we can apply here the Pythagoras theorem to find the side AC that is the first method or the other method is we can apply the same method as we used to find out BC. Now the side we have to find out is AC so we will consider this side AC and we will take AB so AB by AC that is the perpendicular by hypotenuse so which is the trigonometric function formed by perpendicular by hypotenuse it is sine so we will apply sine 30 is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse here perpendicular is 5 centimeters and hypotenuse is ac so now what is the value of sine 30 again let us go back to the table here sine 30 is 1 by 2 so we will write down the value of sine 30 as 1 by 2 as equal to 5 by AC again cross multiply so AC into 1 is AC is equal to 5 to the 10 so it is 
10 centimeters. So the value of AC is 10 centimeters and the value of BC is 5 root 3 centimeters. Right, so this is how we solve this kind of problems. According to the side which we have to determine, we will apply the trigonometric functions to the angle given as the acute angle. In my next video, I'll be solving example 7 from chapter 11, introduction to trigonometry. So till then, do like my video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC insert math. And also do watch the related videos of chapter 11, introduction to trigonometry shown on the screen. Thank you.